Hi friends. Want to explore some of the world's most dangerous roads? From winding roads through the Himalayas to sleepy roadways through the countryside, here are some of the most dangerous roads in the world. We've got a lot of distance to travel, so we'll just get stuck in. The following are in no particular order, and the list is far from exhaustive. Let's start. James Dalton Highway, Alaska. James Dalton Highway, despite looking benign on the surface, this road is one of the world's most dangerous roads. The James Dalton Highway, usually referred Alaska Route 11, it was built as a supply road to support the Trans-Alaska Pipeline system in 1974. The highway, which directly parallels the pipeline, is one of the most isolated roads in the United States. There are only three towns along the route, Coldfoot, Wiseman, and Dead Horse. The road itself is mostly gravel, very primitive in places, and small vehicle and motorcycle traffic carries significant risk. The nearest medical facilities are in Fairbanks and Dead Horse. Anyone embarking on a journey on the Dalton is encouraged to bring survival gear. Road of Death Bolivia The Road of Death, or the North Yungas Road in Bolivia, is often cited as being the most dangerous road in the world. Buses and trucks can be regularly seen tumbling off its rather precarious edge, especially when attempting to overtake one another. The Road of Death is a cycle route about 60 kilometers long which links the city of La Paz and the Yungas region of Bolivia per year and is a major La Paz tourist attraction. Many tour operators cater to downhill mountain biking, providing information, guides, transport and equipment. At least 18 cyclists have died on the road since 1998. The route includes the Cotapata Santa Barbara section. It replaced the old road, built in 1930. It was considered dangerous because of its steep slopes, narrow single track, lack of guardrails, rain, and fog, and was nicknamed the Road of Death. However, it was not the most dangerous road in the region unlike the rest of the country, traffic was left hand to allow the driver to assess the distance of their outer wheel from the edge of the road. Do you want to know more? Well, just keep on watching. But first don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And be sure to hit the notification bell too. That way you won't miss anything. Guilyang Tunnel Road China The Guilyang Tunnel Road was carved out of the site of the mountain by local villagers from the town of Guilyang. Before its construction, the village was practically isolated from the outside world. Because of its construction, it is inherently dangerous. The village was named after a fugitive rebel during the Han Dynasty, who had fought an overwhelming imperial force to a standstill utilizing the extreme local terrain. Before the tunnel was constructed, access to the nearby village of Guilyang was restricted to a difficult path carved into the mountainside. To ease the villagers' access to outside world, a group of villagers led by Shen Mingxin made plans in 1972 to carve a road into the side of the mountain. They sold their livestock to raise funds to buy tools and materials. Thirteen villagers began the project, with one dying during construction. Without access to power tools, they undertook construction mostly with hammers and chisels. At the most difficult stage, the tunnel progressed at a rate of one meter every three days. The tunnel opened to traffic on 1 May 1977 and has turned the village into a tourist attraction. The area has also been used as a film location. Taroko Gorge Road the Taroko Gorge Road is known as one of the most dangerous roads in Taiwan. It has many blind bends, sharp turns and narrow paths that lead through the cliffs and mountains of the region. The Taroko Gorge Road in Taiwan is another mountain route made by carving out rocks, similar to the Guilyang Tunnel Road. Despite its name, the Central Cross Island Highway is a narrow and winding mountain road, and only a bus can barely pass by at a time. But the highway itself is truly an engineering masterpiece, as it cuts through the mountains and joins the east and west coast. It's full of blind curves, sharp turns, and narrow paths leading through cliffs and mountains. This road tests the skill and courage of any driver. It's definitely not for anyone suffering from vertigo or a fear of landslides. Only the suicidal, the insane, or the paid to do this should ever drive down. Taroko Gorge Route is one of the main highways in Taiwan. Also, it's the main logistics route for all types of retail and huge commercial deliveries in nearby towns and cities. 
Skippers Canyon Road, New Zealand. So convoluted is this road that you actually need a permit to drive it. For those who are awarded a permit to drive it are in for a real hair-raising trip. Let's just hope you don't need run into someone coming the other way. Skippers Canyon is a historic and scenic gorge, some 22 kilometers in length, several kilometers north of Queenstown, New Zealand. Today accessed from Queenstown via the same road that leads to the Coronet Peak ski field, Skippers Canyon is carved out by the Shotover River. The Shotover, one of New Zealand's richest gold-bearing rivers. Once a busy gold mining area, Skippers Canyon was accessed by Skippers Road, which is today one of New Zealand's better known scenic roads. Ferry Meadows Way Pakistan Ferry Meadows Way, with a name like, that you'd be forgiven for thinking this is a safe and harmless road. In reality, though very picturesque in setting, it is an extremely narrow and dangerous 10 km stretch of road leading to the killer mountain of Pakistan. Ferry Meadows Road is a spectacular and dangerous high mountain track with a length of 16 2 km, located in the Gilgit Baltistan region of Pakistan. The gravel road is completely unmaintained, there are no guardrails to protect you, and it gets so narrow that near the end you'll have to cover the last section by walking or biking. Drivers must remain cautious as the pass has been known to claim the lives of careless drivers. The most dangerous part of the road involves a narrow six-mile ascent on an unpaved and uneven road. There are no barriers to prevent a vehicle from falling off the cliff to a fiery death. The road is no wider than a standard Jeep Wrangler, and there's plenty of through traffic. One false move, and it's a very long drop. It has been ranked as the second deadliest highway in the world. This road is closed in winter and is accessible only in summer. Anytime can be closed when the access is not cleared of snow. June and July are the best months to visit this place. This drive is only recommended for the people who are serious mountain lovers and have strong nerves. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification for more video from us. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.